Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to look through a tool called Zoxide, the smarter CD command for Linux. Alright, so if you are a Linux user, then you might know the headache of the CD command while navigating to the long directories or the directories like bar slash www slash html slash index. So this is kind of like headache when you need to enter a long name or the long part to the directory where you have to zone. So in that case, you can just make some use of the chop site in order to jump to the directory just by typing the name of the directory. So let me show you an example. Like uh, if you are working on the project and the directory of the project is located on the slash op slash main project slash python then you can just simply jump into that directory just by typing z followed by the directory of the name and that is the python so let me show you an example we can simply type z and the container you don't need to just type the full name of the directory because it has already kept the directory name or the absolute path of the directory on the Zoxide database so that is how the Zoxide work so let me show you some couple of example and we can do something like zip doc in order to go to the documents directory we can also do the zip down in order to go to the downwards directory so the way it uh, keeps the record of your navigation history is just by simply tracking your cd command so if we do the cd slash bar slash dot 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 slash html the command history is recorded on the zoc site database now we can simply do z html in order to get into that directory so that is most for the example now let's go along with the installation part of the zoc site so here on the installation part you can see that we have the different option for the different linux distribution so you don't need to worry much about the installation part you can just simply copy this command and paste into the terminal in order to install Zoxide on your linux distribution whether it's red hat based distribution or whether it's debian based distribution or whether it's R space distribution. So you have the command. If your distribution matches none of the given list, then you can simply copy this command and paste right into your terminal. Okay. So that is how you can install. After installing the Zog site, you need to set up Zog site for your shell. If you are using the uh, fish shell, jetty shells, or the bash shell, just go ahead and click one of those drop down and you will get this set up on your terminal so for my uh distribution uh i will just go ahead and copy this bash code and let me open my ambassador zip file and let's go on to the end of the file and we can just go ahead and paste it on here like this and after pasting you can just simply write and quit from the editor so no matters whether you are using near beam or nano just do that and after that you can just simply start to use the zog site so let me show you some example so before that make sure you have fzf installed sudo i think i have fzf installed if it is not just make sure you got installing and we can do something like zip i for the interactive source of the uh, available directories on the database we can do something like zip i doc uh sorry doc you can see out that we have uh, two directories with the same name but we have the different path okay so i want to navigate into this directory and we are onto that directory so what if we do the z i and d escape so it will go on to the desktop directory because there are no duplicate desktop directory with different path okay and let me clear up the terminal and another way we can search for the directory is we can do something like z and followed by the directories like doc and we can uh, press the space and followed by the tap key on the keyboard once we press the tab it will pop up the fzf or the fuzzy finder window in order to uh, select the right directory that you want to jump in so let me press onto this directory and we are onto that directory now so let me tell you that job site can also be used as a regular cd command what i'm trying to tell is what if we do cd minus so the regular uses of the cd minus is going back to the previous directory 
same like as we can also do z minus in order to go to the previous directory so similar to the cd we can also use z as cd so we can also do z dot dot or the z dot dot slash or the z slash bar slash w dot slash html or the z slash bar slash log now let me show you what you can do more with the job site so we can simply do the job site I can add on the terminal in order to check the full uh, uses on the help menu of the job site command. You can do something like job site query uh, doc in order to source for the document directories, or we can also do like job site query desktop. Or if you want to remove those directory, you can simply do job site remove documents. Uh, that uh, we need to keep the absolute path documents and it has removed and what if we do the query once again so it shows us the path of the another documents directory so and if you want to add the directory then you can also do it using the add argument and this is much for this tutorial if you get any kinds of error while installing the doc site on your Linux distribution then you can leave the comment below in the comment section.